Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ballish. Now today I'm doing a review slash overview of the first 10 episodes of Dragon Ball Super. And I brought along three guests, Quaman's Land. Alrighty guys, it is Quaman here today. Super Jane. Coming at you from Space Australia. How's it going guys? And Big D from Geekdom 101. Alright, what's up guys? Geek them here, get burned. Today we're talking about the possibility of Butoden 4 coming out 15 years late. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways guys, we're going to be sharing our thoughts on the first 10 episodes of Dragon Ball Super. How the series has been progressing, we know that this series has obviously just started. And the first arc has yet to even end. But, this is going to be our thoughts on the series as of now. So, Kwaman, how about you start us off? Sure, well, when I kind of look at like the second half of, you know, what we've seen in Dragon Ball Super so far, the first thing I wanted to say is that I think it's a huge improvement from what we had seen in the first five episodes. I mean, I thought episode one and two were really good. Three was a drop-off, four was awful, five was bad, but the animation made it look so bad, and I felt that episode five was a legendary internet episode because of all the memes and stuff that people have done with it. And then when I look at the second five episodes episode six was a you know a huge upgrade episode seven was solid but they just i would use another word but they messed around with us and basically saved all the good stuff for the last two to the last two minutes of the episode and saved all the good stuff for episode eight and then when you look at nine decent episode it felt a little bit like a waste of time but i felt the transformation felt a lot more holy and then i felt episode 10 was really solid so i feel like when you look at the pattern super has actually gotten better and from what we've seen in the chapter four you know manga actually the manga chapter itself i actually feel like that's giving us an indication that the story is going to get much better hmm okay super jayan how about you go ahead and give us your thoughts on it yeah, well, I have really mixed thoughts on the series so far. I mean, some parts of it I think it did that were better than Battle of Gods. Other parts were, were piss poor in comparison to Battle of Gods. Uh, episode 1 and 2 were just an introduction to the series, in my opinion. Some good character development for Vegeta. Episode 3 and 4 just felt like a lot of unnecessary padding. Episode 5, the animation obviously was the focal point there. That's what everyone was talking about. Even though the episode itself really wasn't that bad. It was a whole episode of Beerus and Goku fighting. If the animation wasn't that bad, I don't think people would have been that critical of that episode. Episode 6 was probably my favorite episode because I just love the interactions between Beerus and the characters at Bulma's party a little bit more than in Battle of Gods. Like, I loved uh, Vegeta making squid for Beerus rather than making doing a dingo, uh, dingo dance. Fucking, rather than doing a bingo dance. Uh, episode 7 was a bit of a cliffhanger, like Carmen said. I really didn't like that the title was Vegeta's Furious Mutation and then right at the end of the episode, it cuts to the next episode preview. That was a little bit of a fucking teaser right there. I really, really didn't like that. Uh, episode 8 is where all the good stuff happened for that fight. The animation has been a talking point since episode 5. You're still noticing some inconsistent animation here and there. Hopefully they touch that up and fix it for the Blu-ray release. And then I felt episode 9 and 10 were okay. I didn't like in, that we had the whole half an episode of Scissor Paper Rock between Beerus and Oolong. But episode 10. Now episode 10 I felt was really good. <laughs> Uh, the fighting was great, the the, the char character interaction between Beerus and Goku was amazing. Just the fact that Goku was getting used to the god power in, in Super was really, really well done. Uh, and then also, the other thing I will touch on is earlier before that fight, the actual Super Saiyan God transformation itself I felt was really, really well executed in Super. The reason being is I really like the introduction of the elements like the hail, the thunder, the rain, the snow, all that sort of stuff, and then the sky opening up above Goku. Those sorts of things I've enjoyed more, but for the most part, if you still ask me based on the first 10 episodes, has it been better than Battle of Gods? I would have to say no. Well, Jay, thanks for going more in-depth than Qua, man. <coughs> Shots fired. Uh, Big D, let's hear your thoughts. Well, I'll go even more in-depth. I think that <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do, right? That's uh, right. But Jay likes to go in. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... The thing about Super, and I agree with pretty much everything Jay said, even though I don't feel as strongly about the bait and switch 
that they pulled in that one episode is, uh, you know, one thing I will say is that I feel like the Battle of God's film is still a much tighter and better told version of these events. I'm very curious about Saino Watanabe and Morishita's um, version of the story here in Super. And for those who don't know what the hell I'm talking about, you probably don't. Those are the series planners. And... Every time in Dragon Ball Super when they've tried to kind of stray away from the Battle of Gods formula in the movie, it's kind of fallen on their face. Pilaf stuff is very, very disjointed. Um, in the film, everything kind of made sense with the Pilaf angle. Now it's like he's leaving the boat, coming back to the boat, looking for the Dragon Balls, even though he clearly saw the dragon being summoned and they disappeared because they're supposed to do that ever since the very first story arc in Dragon Ball. Stuff like that bugs me. Um, the, obviously the whole thing with the timetable of the series is a big problem because it makes no sense. Uh, we're told in the pre-promotional material that the series is six months after Kid Buu. Then in the show it says, oh well, it's a little bit after that. And then during the show we're seeing that Videl is now pregnant and the events seem to be now four years later even though it seems like Bulma and Vegeta's little vacation was right after that. So again, the, there's a lot of very bad organization problems going on here with Super. I think Toei is being slightly lazy, not only with the animation, but also with the storytelling. Something needs to tighten up quick because it really is getting annoying. That being said though, some of the pros it is that I do like some of the expansion of things. Like Jay said, I enjoyed the God transformation this time more than I did in the film. And I did enjoy what I'm seeing so far of Goku and Beerus' fight. So the last couple of episodes have been very good. I'm hoping it continues, but overall it has been a disappointment. Um, especially when compared to Battle of God. So I am hoping that the new material is better and more tight as far as storytelling goes for Dragon Ball Super. Definitely, definitely. My thoughts on the series so far, obviously, pretty much like almost everyone on the internet that was a huge Dragon Ball fan when the first episode aired, we all fell in love with what was going on there. It was incredible. It really was a well done episode, even like nostalgia going back aside, it was a well made episode in itself. Same goes for episode 2. Episodes 3 and 4 were a little bit lackluster, but I don't think they were necessarily boring. 5... Well, everyone knows episode 5, it's known for the bad animation, and if you guys have seen the redone uh, Dragon Ball Super intros and outros made in bad animation, those are definitely quite comical, because the whole bad animation thing not only ma has made people make fun of Dragon Ball Super a lot more, but I have noticed uh, on Twitter and other social media sites that a lot of people have been picking on, uh, you know, the old Dragon Ball Z stuff a lot, and yes, it had bad animation, and it, it is, you know, people like to poke fun at it and stuff, but... Episode 5 of Super has definitely heightened that, and it's given a lot of people a lot of uh, memes and stuff going around. So that was definitely, I, I don't want to say it's a highlight of the series, but it's definitely um, uh, look, a I, notable I, I'm point. Getting, I'm getting kind of annoyed with that. People are li literally pausing it and taking pictures of bad animation. You can go back to Dragon Ball Z and do that. Just, just stop doing it. it. It's played out. It's stupid. We all know it's bad animated, but so is Dragon Ball Z. Don't sit there and suck Dragon Ball Z's dick and then sit there and say Super has bad animation when it's always had bad animation. Just deal with it. Iceman. I'm but just tired. Yeah. I'm, no, yeah. I'm tired of it. Every Absolutely. week it's Absolutely. bad animation. Bad animation. Fuck off. <laughs> you know? Yeah, Fuck. well, yeah, yeah. The series is going to have bad animation no matter what. It's an anime. All animes, there's been very few animes that have not had, like, bad animation here and there unless you go to some like studio ghibli which is like you know in-house stuff they just meticulously you know design everything but yeah w moving forward obviously after episode five we see episode six uh, we had stuff picking up with all bulma's party and all that stuff and then not a whole lot happened there but we did get to see more of beerus which is nice i love all the stuff they've been doing with beerus and weiss um in this series but it, it kind of has trailed off well i guess obviously it would trail off once they went to earth because they can't visit as many plants, but whenever they were visiting plants, that was definitely a very high point of the series that, that some we didn't really get to see in Battle of Gods, obviously. That definitely gives it a plus over Battle of Gods, in my opinion. Um, and then 7 and 8, I loved. I love the action in them. I love the representation of Piccolo getting demolished by Beerus with the whole, you know, Beerus pretty much knocking everyone away with wind. Piccolo getting beaten pretty bad. It's always good to see that instead of him getting beat by chopsticks. Unless you watch duct tape from Count Cornersville where he says there's chopsticks in the wind. I'm sure Kwame loves that very much. <laughs> this video is so off course. Who cares? But, it's but good. yeah, man, it's just, just amen. Just upload it. It's amen. Oh, boy. But um, yeah, episodes seven and eight. 
those were great. Those were great episodes. Eight especially, with the whole fight between Vegeta and Beerus was great. And we did see to hear some interesting lines where they put some numbers on the god of uh, Beerus. You know, they put a little bit of numbers to the name, which I didn't particularly like. But, you know, that's another video for another day. And I've already done stuff on that. So, episode nine, I've done a review on it. I didn't like it. Everyone else loves it. You've Every done two reviews single... on it. Uh, yeah, I did two pretty much. Everyone loved that episode. And, you know... I really didn't. I really didn't enjoy the episode, and quite frankly, I didn't like how half the episode was them summoning Shenron, and really nothing new happened at all. Yeah, it was a little funny to see Shenron get, you know, flustered and scared of Beerus again, but it was the same exact thing we already saw in Battle Gods. And as for the transformation, I guess I'm alone with this one, is that I didn't like how stretched out it was, honestly. Everyone else loves it. I, I It just wasn't for me. It was not for me. I didn't think it was necessary, but it's one episode... I can't really bitch about it too much. Well, nobody cares what we think. Everybody cares about what Andrew Anime Toys has to say about it. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> well, the other thing about episode 9 that I didn't like was that Shenron, Shenlong, for you Japanese fans out there, is the thing that he said that he could look it up from like the, the, the Namekian Book of Legends. I, I really didn't like that. Whereas in, in the movie... Really? Yeah, Comes out in, of in, nowhere. The, in, in, in the subtitles I read, I could have seen the shitty fan subs for all I know. But as far as I know, Shenlong does say that he basically, the Namekian Book of Legends states that this is how the Super Saiyan God was born and how he was created. Whereas if you go back to Battle of Gods, he just basically tells them how to create a Super Saiyan God, which makes more sense. Which makes sense. I never liked the, the idea that there was a God back in, you know, when Saiyans were thriving. I never liked the idea that there were, you know, six pure-hearted Saiyans. Never made sense to me, but it was a little bit strange. It didn't even allude to, like, an old Saiyan God in, in Super. They just kind of threw it out, which maybe that's just a design choice now. So be it. But episode ten, I hated episode nine the worst. That was my that was my least favorite episode. Ten was my favorite episode. I love the fight between Goku and Beerus. How it's progressing. I think episode eleven is going to be great as well. But we'll see how that is. But I think ten, just the way the fight was, how it was starting off, how Goku had to get so used to the God form, was really a great thing in my mind. I loved it. Um, there were some awesome fight scenes with it. You know, Beerus and Goku were playing around with each other. Goku's getting back at Beerus by flicking him in the head and, you know, cry chomping him. Ping ping, flipping him off. I loved it. I loved it. It was great. I enjoyed the whole damn episode and it was my favorite episode. But um, before we move on, you know, a little bit uh, to the next part here, just to reiterate for people that may have missed it, what were you guys' favorite episodes? Mine, obviously, like I just said, 10 was my favorite and 9 was my least favorite. So what do you guys have for that? Uh, favorite episode for me was 6, and then after 6, it was 10, followed by 8, because I really did like seeing, obviously, guys, make it no secret, Vegeta's my favorite. Love seeing Vegeta lay the beat down on Beerus, even if it didn't do anything. So they were my favorite episodes. My favorites were 10 and then 2, because, I, I mean, I'm not as big a Vegeta fan as Jay, but Vegeta was at his best in episode 2, if you ask me. <laughs> Geek them, you didn't mention your least favorite episode. Oh, my least favorite episode was probably uh, the, the the what was the one with the fucking rock paper scissors? A uh, yeah, A was the yeah. worst one. Wow, I thought that was yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very funny that you guys are saying all of this. Um, I've pretty much argued so much that I actually felt that eight was by far the best episode <laughs> because I felt it was the funniest. I felt it had the best action. And I felt that it had the most intense moment of the series. I mean, the way the characters looked at each other when, you know, Beerus was about to blow out in such terror. I felt that was a really, really powerful moment. And then good old Goku, <coughs> Josh, <clears throat> comes to save the day just like how, you know, everybody wants him to. Of course. Obviously, of course. you know, Piccolo's my favorite character, so I don't really have any moments that I could really attach to him here. Josh is going to think of one mm -hmm. that might not be the he most successful moment. He didn't have a high moment. point in the series. Him, yet, him, giving, him, getting, a, him getting his wedding photo from Videl and Gohan was pretty yeah. cool. Yes. Well, you know what? I'm just going to say one thing quickly. Piccolo had his way to clothing. You could say he could still get trashed by Beerus, but I could still say he held back. But the point is, is my favorite episode was eight. My second favorite episode would have to be episode two. And I'd say my least favorite episode would probably have to be episode four. Episode four was terrible. I mean, the Pilaf gang did nothing, even though they were supposed to have a bigger role. Uh, that felt like a complete waste of time. So, yeah, eight and two were my favorite. Okay, okay. So, Prince, the final thing I want to bring up here, guys. You guys liking the series so far? I'm liking the series. It's definitely got potential. This arc I knew was going to be slow. It's what I expected. 
how are you guys feeling about the series so far overall? Pretty much positive, right? I'm more excited for what's going to come that we haven't absolutely. seen than what we've already seen. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I agree. I'm, I'm looking forward to what's happening in between Battle of Gods, Resurrection of F arc, and I'm also looking forward to, obviously, the Universe 6 arc, which could take place anytime. I'm, obviously, I think it's going to take place after Resurrection of F, so I'm looking forward to that. And obviously, when the series comes out on home distribution on DVD and Blu-ray, I think people will enjoy the series a lot more because they can just watch all the episodes back to back to back rather than having to wait a week to see the I next agree. episode. I agree with that. I, mean, I agree yeah, with that. Yeah, I, I actually honestly feel, yeah, when they release it on home distribution, people are not going to be so critical of it based on the fact they can just watch the episodes when they want. But that's my opinion on that. All right, Kwame. Well, I mean, for me, I, I would just say that, honestly, I think Super has had definitely its slow moments. It is kind of sad that, you know, we're basically like three months into the series and they haven't done as much as we would have liked them to, but I do feel like over the last few episodes, they've made enough improvements to really keep my interest in the series. And as YouTubers, I mean, we all kind of, you know, review the series and I, I and re really like look in depth about a lot of these things. And I feel that Super really has a lot of upside. I just think that it has had some low points and as Geekdom so eloquently said earlier you know episode five and i and i'm planning on doing a whole video on that i feel like episode five has literally been a rotten egg and a cancer for the whole series moving now and forward and i'll just point this out really quickly i have a friend in real life who's a very very casual dragon ball fan he doesn't watch it he hasn't watched it in years and he just tells me oh yeah so i heard ter super has terrible animation and i'm telling him bro that was one episode but like now casual fans think it has bad animation so those are my thoughts. Hmm. Well, uh, before I close out this video, I just want to say that I definitely, even though we've, it's not really about the series that we've, we've already seen all this stuff, obviously. That's not exactly, it, it is part of it that does kind of hinder the enjoyment just a, a tad bit for me. But I am still very excited to see what they do in the Resurrection F arc. I think there's a lot of things they can switch up, a lot of interesting things that can happen in this arc. And obviously, the 100% original uh, Universe 6 arc is going to be, I, I think that's going to be phenomenal. There's going to be some very interesting ideas and some incredible, incredible world design and character designs that are going to come out in that arc. Um, but yeah, anyone else have anything else to say? Yeah, I'll, I'll just say, I hope, hopefully for all those Piccolo fans out there, uh, Gohan doesn't jump in and beat Shisami for Piccolo. Hopefully Piccolo does it himself mm. in Resurrection. Mm. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count my, uh, I wouldn't count anything on that, but, uh, uh anyone else want to add anything before I close this video out? I got no comments You have to nothing to say to just, try to redeem nothing. Your, your green friend Piccolo. I've said everything I need to say, except uh, I, ho I'm, I, I still like the movie more, and we'll hopefully it'll get better. That's it. I think it All will. All right. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there's a lot of, um, there was definitely a couple inside jokes here that a lot of you won't understand. Maybe some of you that come around to Twitch live streams might have understood that. But uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Definitely check out all of these guys' channels. Uh, Super J and Big D, you know, Geekdom101. And, of course, if you're, for some reason, not subscribed to him already, he's huge, Quaman's Land. Check them all out in the link down below, or if you saw it annotated in this video. But, other than that, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.